Let me begin by taking this opportunity to welcome you all to Uganda. I'm called Lieutenant General James Mujeda. I am the Managing Director of the National Enterprise Corporation, under which Rural Industries, led by Major General Savit, holds as one of the subsidiaries. I do thank the organizers of the meeting for inviting me to open this meeting whose stated purpose is to consider the progress of operationalization of the defense facilities offered for shared utilization, review of the status of implementation of previous decisions and directives of the Sectoral Council on Cooperation in Defense, and to conclude with an exhibition by the Republic of Uganda of our defense industrial products and services. As you are aware, defense industries are strategic facilities that are set up to provide self-reliance and a sustainable in-country capability for supplying the armed forces, especially during combat, thereby supporting the national defense of a country. Uganda, as a country, we appreciate the strategic significance of the local defense industry's capabilities because countries need such capacity for self-reliance, especially in terms of equipment, in order to minimize reliance on foreign countries for resupply during wartime and even avoid blackmail by superior powers. The need for self-reliance by African armed forces because of our well-known history and the changing global environment cannot be overemphasized. You cannot talk of sovereignty as a country when you are totally dependent on products and services from foreign countries for your national defense. As a region, through this forum, we are not only attaching a lot of importance to the development of local defense industries, but you are also putting at each other's disposal facilities for joint utilization. Distinguished members, defense is a complex and challenging sector due to increasing and sophisticated developments in science and technology. Therefore, another area of strategic significance as far as the defense industries are concerned is research and development, which entails a position of upgrading and the development of high technology weapons and even a position of technical expertise to adapt foreign purchased weaponry to a country's operational needs. As East African community, we need to work together on this. Our countries need to conduct joint research and development and utilize science and technology to build a strong industrial base and capabilities in order to respond to current and future security threats. By so doing, our countries shall be gradually enabled to be somehow independent in science and technology. It is my hope and prayer that the issue of joint R&D be considered in your meeting. Lastly, is the issue of what I may call optimal use of our limited resources amongst ourselves. And the utilization of whatever services are available in the region, instead of incurring heavy expenses, outsourcing the same services and products from countries abroad. For example, here in Uganda, we have built some capacity to maintain, repair, and overhaul military helicopters. Why would ESC countries not utilize that capacity instead of taking the helicopters abroad? You may wish to consider the matter in the meeting.